At this point, you might be wondering what strategies we use during our initial search. We use browsing, probing, skimming, evaluating, and deciding to choose relevant sources of information. Browsing is broad and flexible. Our goal with browsing is to search through a large amount of information and find potentially relevant sources. By being inclusive while we browse, we can find information that we might otherwise overlook in a narrower search. Probing is more narrow and deliberate than browsing. Our goal with probing is to locate specific sources, usually within a discipline, and learn more about it at a high level. This strategy is especially useful when we're trying to find information that falls outside our area of expertise. Skimming involves flipping through the pages of a source to find relevant information. We might skim the abstracts of a journal article, or read the introductory paragraphs of a book, or review the table of contents in a textbook, or read the bolded headings in a chapter. Eventually, we will read the full publication if we decide it is important to our research. Skimming should take a fraction of the time it would take to actually read a source in its entirety. As we skim a source, we should evaluate its relevance and usefulness. The textbook lists some great questions to ask about each source. Does it cover the topic as a whole, or at least some aspect of it? Does it have something noteworthy to say about the topic or some aspect of it? Was it published recently? If it's a journal article, is it peer-reviewed? If it's a book, has it been reviewed by a critic? The fifth and final search strategy we will use is to make decisions about each source, whether it is relevant and useful and how we plan to use it in our work. After the full-scale literature search, we will decide once and for all whether the problem as a whole is researchable and appropriate for interdisciplinary study.